consider a 5.32 gram sample of 99.87% pure calcium carbonate in a flask and a 100.0 milliliter sample of vinegar with 5% acidity in a graduated cylinder. The combined mass of the reactants and the containers is 255.98 grams. The vinegar is poured into the flask with the calcium carbonate and the following reaction occurs. After swirling the reaction mixture for about 20 minutes, the combined mass of the reaction mixture and the containers is found to be 254.46 grams. What is the percent yield of carbon dioxide in this experiment? The percent yield equals the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100%. Actual yield equals starting mass minus ending mass. The actual yield for carbon dioxide in this experiment is the starting mass minus the ending mass, which equals 1.52 grams. This means that 1.52 grams of carbon dioxide is released in the atmosphere when the mixture is swirled. The theoretical yield of carbon dioxide in this experiment is equal to the amount of carbon dioxide produced by the limiting reagent. To determine which substance is the limiting reagent or the reactant that will be completely used up in this reaction, we must first assume that the acetic acid will be completely consumed and use the following process to find the mass of carbon dioxide produced when the starting mass of acetic acid in the experiment is 5.00 grams. To determine the mass of carbon dioxide produced, we must divide the starting mass of acetic acid by its molar mass to find the starting number of moles of acetic acid. Then multiply by the multiple ratio of carbon dioxide and acetic acid to find the number of moles of carbon dioxide produced. Finally, multiply by the molar mass of carbon dioxide to find the mass of carbon dioxide that is produced, or 1.83 grams of carbon dioxide produced. To find the mass of calcium carbonate, multiply the starting mass times its purity to find the mass of calcium carbonate in the experiment is 5.31 grams. Now we can assume that calcium carbonate is completely consumed and follow the same process to determine the mass of carbon dioxide produced by 5.31 grams of calcium carbonate. To find the mass of carbon dioxide produced, we must divide the starting mass of calcium carbonate by its molar mass to find the number of moles of calcium carbonate. Then we must multiply by the multimole ratio of carbon dioxide and calcium carbonate to find the number of moles of carbon dioxide. Finally, multiply by the molar mass of carbon dioxide to find the mass of carbon dioxide produced is 2.34 grams. By evaluating the two calculations previously completed, we know that the limiting reagent in this reaction is acetic acid because 5.00 grams of acetic acid only theoretically produces 1.83 grams of carbon dioxide, while 5.31 grams of calcium carbonate theoretically produces 2.34 grams of carbon dioxide. Therefore, the theoretical yield of carbon dioxide for this reaction is 1.83 grams.
because by the time 1.83 grams of carbon dioxide are produced, the acetic acid is used up and the reaction stops. Finally, to find the percent yield, we divide the actual yield found through the experiment by the theoretical yield found through the calculations and multiply by 100%. To find the percent yield is equal to 83.1%. There are two main reasons that can explain the percent yield being less than 100%. Number one, the vinegar came from a previously opened bottle that had been sitting on a shelf. This could have allowed evaporation to take place, causing the acidity of the vinegar to be less than 5%. Number two, carbon dioxide is soluble in water. Therefore, there is always a small portion of carbon dioxide that will never leave the liquid.